Hey guys, it's Thomas. How are you doing? Here in Autogefühl we try to be very interactive and this one here is another special chance. You know you can always post under a video which car you want to be reviewed next but here we have this special poll function. It will be in the upper right corner if you click there and then open the poll because in April we will have an event with Mercedes and they say they can offer us the compact size cars and at the moment it's um, A-Class, B-Class, the CLA as a coupe, CLA as shooting brake and the GLA. And between those five cars, the poll will be in the upper right corner, I want you guys to decide or we give you the chance to decide which car of those you want to be reviewed because at the event we will only have the chance time-wise to review one car of those and so you have to decide then. Um, you know we did have those cars um, before of course, not necessarily all in the facelifted uh, version. We did have the B-Class facelift, we did have the A-Class facelift. The videos will be uh, linked in the video description so you can check those out. Um, the last CLA review was before the facelift that you know was some time ago. We had the sedan right there and the GLA we had when it was initially um, put on the market. So we didn't do the, uh, the facelift right there. So, um, you know, what I would do, um, you know, just to give you a hint, um, so I would decide between GLA facelift and CLA facelift because those ones are the two new cars. And um, then I would look at, you know, CLA sedan or shooting brake. Um, I would rather go for the sedan or it's, well, it's called Coupe because that one is also available in the US and we always try to make it, you know, um, as suitable as possible for all our Autogefühl markets and the CLA Coupe is available on more markets worldwide. The shooting brake rather just an European thing. Um, so I would probably end up deciding between the GLA facelift and the CLA Coupe. Um, but you know maybe you think totally different and you know want another A-class or another B-class um, review and um, that's totally up to you. I, I don't I really don't mind. I mean all cars are definitely interesting and um, Mercedes has especially in the last years improved their sales with the compact class and also especially looking towards you know Asian markets um, China the compact and the mid-size segment those are the two segments that are surging and surging and surging also for example in an SUV form but those ones, you know, are the real important markets of the future, also in the premium sector, you know, um, especially the premium brands, they await a lot of more sales in the mid-size and compact segment. And, um, you know, the, the very huge and big cars, they won't be that important now. They are not that important on most markets anymore. Uh, and if they're important, then usually, you know, you know, thinking of a US market, for example, in an SUV or, or, or truck form. So really interesting what's going on there. And I think it's uh, really a nice thing that we can offer you this possibility here, be interactive um, via our YouTube channel, um, you know, so you can have a little bit more influence of what we're going to show you. And uh, of course, we are always want to show you, uh, you know, whatever you like. Actually, we are just um, reacting on, you know, when you're writing, oh, I want to see this car and that car. And then we can really see, you know, what you want to like. And also when we um, check the views or, or the watch time of our videos, we can then see, okay, you know, those cars and, and those brands, they are really demanded um, by you guys. So we try to do a little bit more there. Uh, and, you know, others may be, you know, not that popular. However, still, even if this is the case, we still, you know, try to balance out it um, as, you know, as good as possible. You know, I've talked about it um, a couple of times. It's not possible to, um, to cover each brand the same amount because they have different uh, resources just to supply um, us the cars. And, you know, if we would say we take one car per brand per year to make it different, it doesn't make any sense. So everything else is just on top, you know, that's how it works. So really looking for, really, I'm um, you know, excited of uh, what this poll will uh, have an as a result. And maybe it will be a close race between two, um, two cars or maybe, um, you know, this uh, very, very exciting. Um, 
we do have here the CLA Coupé and the CLA Shooting Brake. We will have it separated, so you know that you can decide. Um, but overall, of course, we will also take into account when um, those together will have you know a significant impact. You know that it's not unfair because um, you know when two basically same cars with just um, a different you know different hatch in the rear. Um, so we, we, we will closely take a look at that, um, you know, that, it, that it's still fair, you know, for a car that is split in two halves. But first let's see, maybe there's a, a clear winner anyway, and um, then we can, we can very well decide which one of those Mercedes compact cars you really want to see. And if you like, you know, those actions here uh, like this, you know, giving you more chance to, to influence our program, then also give us a thumbs up and give us all some comments um, that we keep ourselves updated there. And um, yeah, want to say again, thank you so much for the most recent support. That really meant so much to me. Um, so, you know, when I get those those great positive feedback and um, that really keeps me going because sometimes, it's, you know, it's really hard, really having a hard time. There's so much, you cannot, cannot imagine how much effort and how much time and you know, how much nerves and how much sweat is, is really uh, being put into this project. And uh, when you then see, you know, thousands of people, you know, encouraging you, um, that's really, you know, that really means a lot. So thank you very much and let's vote.